rise and shine, we got ourselves <coughs> some more hunting to do. And you know what I like about hunting is, oh wait, actually, we gotta listen to the old fat doorman first. <laughs> you know, because it's Takahata, thy next foe is oh, paradise so floats upon the lake. A oh, silent Napa. being wields thunder. Oh, Napa. is this what I'm talking about? about this. A moving bridge to cross to higher ground. Napa, when did you get promoted? <laughs> I turned into Super Kami Guru. And wanders to speak to himself. What happened to Dirt and Dorman? <laughs> How did you I'm do that? I'm the new Dorman. Or at least well, I'm the same Dorman voice actor. Dorman is made up of multiple people, so... My, the, my impression the older, of Vegeta The older just, Dorman got a heart attack. Don't mind him. My impression of Vegeta just sounds like Robbie Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know much about the anime. So, it does. <laughs> So speaking speaking of hunting some things, who has seen the Monster Hunter photos for their uh, film? Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I know a lot of people are complaining about the weapons, <laughs> but at least they're trying to have Monster Hunter it's weapons. The weapons. My it's army. The my problem. My problem with the movie is the fact that when the when Detective Pikachu was announced, a lot of people were confused and thinking, oh great, it's going to be one of those movies where the main character is transported to the Pokemon world, person, or right. the Pokemon is transported to our world, <laughs> and just do something like that. But when the Detective Pikachu movie came out, it's revealed, no, it's not going to be that Detective Pikachu comes to Pokemon our world. world. It is based in the Pokemon world. Guess what Monster Hunter does? I love the canonical... It not only does one, it does both. If you read the full plot synopsis, the idea is that the tank, the tank, uh, Gui, if one I can imagine, is the tank is not going to be actually fought against the monster yet. Okay, that's not the part that I don't like. The part is that it's starring Anderson's wife again. Well, it's Anderson. Hey, I hey, get it. Hey, you t- like? Her. Hey, Mia Jovovich is not a bad actress. She is good. She plays yes, the same and- character in everything she does. Not really. Have you actually seen Fifth Element? No, I've only seen all the Resident Evil stuff. Well, right there now. you go. Is... No, and it- bear in mind, Anderson had a perfectly like had a personal hand in every one of those, and yet he has done nothing. Yeah. It's basically and, and, it's basically the Megan Fox problem all over again. Anderson, no. I get that you I get that yeah. you want your wife to be badass, but if you want to yeah. just do some role playing, just man up and ask her to do some role playing. Uh-huh. Keep her in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, don't bring okay. it into all I your know movies. You got, I know you guys shit on Anderson, yeah. and yes, I'll shit on Anderson too. But here's yeah. also the thing: Mia Jovovich is actually a good actress, not in Resident Evil yeah. or well, really not, anything. We're not saying she, right. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, understood. But no, she. God, this is pretty. Pretty. Watch Fifth Element, and also I think she'll be yeah. good in Hellboy. She's going possibly. I'm hoping yeah. she's going to be in the Hellboy remake, which I am looking forward to. Actually, it'll be good. But now, so the thing I'm worried about is that. Yeah, yeah as we previously mentioned, it's the story. The concept we is that yeah, it's it, that is going to flat out be. Humans get taken into the Monster Hunter world, and they have to use like they they use their technology. They have to learn how to fight like a Monster Hunter, even though they yeah, got guns. Boy. Although Monster Hunter has had it, Monster Hunter has yeah. had guns before. Apparently, but, but it, apparently it still, it the still guns... sounds like it, it. It still sounds like one of those one of those bad '90s uh, adaptations of oh, a video oh, no, game. Oh no! Oh no! Doubt. Okay, I'm gonna say because it. it is. Oh, lizard! Nice, glowy tail lizard. Yep. Yeah, no, oh no! Doubt. Oh no! Doubt. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like the freaking um, not Doom movie. There was one movie that like was like s- like super weirdly whoa, oh, whoa. super weirdly mature. What was it? Oh gosh. Like I, I know I know what you're thinking. Honestly, all I can say is that is that is it really that hard just to make a movie off of the game's natural strengths? Not including any other bullshit along you, with it. You yeah, know what apparently I, you know, Detective you know Pikachu my... is doing. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, no, apparently people think it's very hard, which it's like, it really isn't. It's actually fairly easy. Detective Pikachu, obviously, it, yeah, sorry. It's I, called, it's called, it's easy if you put effort. And here's what I'm, here's my thought process of this is, they could have done it just like Monster Hunter, but that would have taken a lot of money to make all these sets and armor pieces and stuff. We're going to have to do that anyway. We're here. Well, who knows how much they're actually going to do? We're here for at least a good half, and that's the other thing. The plot is that they get t- transported to Monster Hunter World, 
but then they go back to Earth and monsters from Monster Hunter World come to Earth. It's called easy and reusing army props and cheaper movie to make. Oh, boy. And that's what they're going to yeah. do. It's going to be cheap. That's what I think yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's exactly like one of those, like one Again. Of those awful 90s video game adaptations. No, or we can just say it's like a Paul W.S. Anderson movie. Really, it Actually, is. Actually, Resident make, Evil. It, like, in terms, of, in terms of the concept of, of, uh, of the fantasy world and the real world clashing, it makes me think of oh. it makes me think of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. I did, not, I did not know you were a big Monster Hunter fan, actually, Gui. Well, I mean, I'm interested in the game since Monster Hunter World came out. I haven't been able to play mm-hmm. it yet, but it looks it looks really cool. Also, the there, are like, cool. there are like hundreds upon thousands of dragons in that game, so should we yeah. really okay. do it? Well, that, that has something to do with it. All things, is cool. uh, all things is it, or I do remember my time with the Monster Hunter series, and I mean, I did try it. It's just not for me. I, I looking at it, it looks very tech heavy to yes, me. Yes, it like is. It, looks very, it, it has a very steep learning curve, and and it looks better to play with friends. Mm-hmm. But here's the other thing. Oh, by the way. Oh yeah. By the way, here's our Colossus. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's got, I, yeah. so, he's got a ton there. of teeth. And dive in the water, otherwise that lightning will hurt you. He I'm surprised that lightning doesn't just shoot sh- sh- the entire works. water. <laughs> it only affects the surface of water, obviously. Anyway, this boss fight is kind of boring, so I'm going to cut around a bit. Is This is the main strategy. First, you have to... He's constantly trying to turn around you, and you're constantly trying to swim to the back of him. But as he turns, it's like he almost gets further away, but unlike Breath of the Wild, you can swim indefinitely. So the first phase is to swim to the back of him. Finally got there. Then climb up his back. By the way, I want to point out something uh, when we get to yeah. it. Okay. Then, once you get to his crown, then the next phase begins. This oh, is yeah, a very long... This is our... I just realized, yeah, we did definitely see this before ourselves. So, okay, this is... I believe this is the, I believe this is the 12th Colossi. Okay. Yep. Anyway, and, guys, uh, here's, something to no- here's something to note about his crown. This monster is the bo- His head is the bottom half of a jaw. Oh, oh wow! You're, these are the look. More I, teeth. I, I, Those I are obviously that out earlier. Teeth. He's got a crown of teeth. Yep. yep. And what we need to, to actually half? turn. So we need to hit his teeth and hit and strike at those nerve endings. And that is how we're going to direct him. Look, to it's hurting to... because you don't floss. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That, that I actually was that, you're that using actually, that joke that, again. That, that actually does it by more here. You're right. Whatever. But um, so we need the idea is that this is our only real way to get onto the second floor of these platforms, and that is where we can actually do some more damage to this thing because its own one weak point is on its chest, which just so happens to be submerged under the water all the time. Yes, I got it, Dorman. Cross to higher <laughs> ground. You see me doing it. Like it's not like I'm in the water. You, I'm almost there, dude. Okay, this should it's be close enough. Taking a while. I just want. I just want. Now, immediately to get behind cover. Hurry it up. So get behind cover, and he's gonna realize, crap! I can't shoot you with lightning anymore. I should get more physical. The second he rises up, run because now this is your chance to jump at his underbelly, which has the mark. Hold the grip button when you jump. Oh, I see what your Almost. problem is. You've got a case of rabies. Let me take care of that. Ow! On the stomach? Really? Yeah, that's actually how that's actually how it, it, rabies is treated by a shot to the stomach. Huh. It's ca- more you know, more you know. I was gonna, I, I was just gonna say he was having a severe punk phase and got a tattoo, and he really shouldn't have. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sh- you know that shit's gonna wear out in a hundred years. I saw. I, okay, I feel bad. I saw this really hysterical kind of one panel comic which was it's two sailors and they're in the army and the year is 1939 or something like that and this dude has he had he i don't know what i forget what it's called but he has a tattoo of that hindu symbol that looks like the swastika but isn't the swastika because it's a mirror reflection of it it's not uh-huh. really a hindu and he's a, it's it's just what, a it, buddhist i think it is a, actually no it's not hindu because uh it is actually it originates from either China or Japan. I forgot. So maybe, I it think may it's be Japanese Buddhist, then. originally. Hmm. Okay, then maybe Tao? Shinto, either way, maybe. Oh, oh. Either, way, either way, it's not the swastika. It's like a, it's a reflected version of the swastika. Yeah, no, basically, I know. 
But yeah, so he, he's showing off to a friend like, yeah, it means inner peace. And guy's like, yeah, sweet. And then it's like, the year was 1939 and poor Billy was over 40 years away from the invention of tattoo removal. Oh, <laughs> no. Whoops. It was about to get awkward. <laughs> You know, if I can go back to the subject of movies real quick. Yeah, go for it. I mean, yeah, we got we got those snapshots for the upcoming uh, Monster Hunter movie, and obviously we got trailers for the likes of um, Detective Pikachu. I'm, uh -huh. sur I'm surprised with all with the news we talked about earlier that there hasn't been anything regarding that supposed Shadow of the Colossus movie. Uh, well, that well, that's the thing is that like. Or wait, that was or, or wait, was that we talked or about wait, was that canceled? It was canceled. Oh, yeah, it was we canceled. talked about that in our previous part. Mm. You did not want that movie to be made in the state that its script was in. True. Uh, okay, yeah. Never, we never did mind. not never want that movie. That. I honestly forgot we made that in the first place. That movie uh, removed all subtlety that the game had and made it generic. Oh, right. That's right. We did talk about that. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. Okay. It oh, and died. Oh, uh, is, is there, uh, are they still planning on making a movie of Ico or something? Or, or, of Ico? I could see a movie of Ico working. By the way, Ghibli. I could see a Ghibli I could, animation. I could see a of short film of that one working. A Ghibli stuff. By the way, go ahead, I, uh, go ahead, Matt. So earlier we were talking about Paul W. S. Anderson and all that. Yes. Another video game movie he was trying to make was Castlevania, and thank oh, God gosh. he didn't because it because his idea was so bad. <laughs> what was it? It was going to still be Simon Belmont and all that, but right. But castle, but the uh, castle itself was going to be in Nazi territory during World War II, and Simon Belmont was going to have to go in and infiltrate a Nazi base <laughs> that happened to be ran by Dracula. Oh um, but wait, but, ba but wait, but, ba but wait, but back, up, but wait, but back up. So it's still the 1940s or 19? Was it 1950? It was going to be the 1940s. So it was going to be the 1940s, but he's still armed with a whip and cross and no guns. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure sense. they would. I'm sure they would have forced in guns. It just doesn't. Basically, uh, maybe he would have to. Maybe maybe he'd have to team up. Maybe you know what? You know what? It would be Simon Belmont, but then he has to suddenly team up with a buffed up Maria, played by an Anderson's wife. Armed nah. with guns. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> maybe he'd sneak anyway, in his wife let, in there somewhere. Well, just, no, he would. No, no, let's just zero. be. Let's just be happy that the Netflix Castlevania is amazing. Yes. Oh, it well, yeah, um, I, really um, about it. I, I think amazing is a stretch, but it is a, it is a good adaptation. Or, well, I think I nice. think it's amazing. I think it's really good. Well done. My only problem is with uh, the whole thing was season two a little bit because season one focused uh, very little on the villains and mostly on the heroes. Season two right, had the complete opposite problem. Pretty much, and I think they kind of went a want... little overboard on season two. Well, I know they had to establish that Richter and Alucard had to work together, and Gravy's cured. Oh. Wait, what do you mean establish you Richter thing? and Alucard? Richter wasn't even born at that time. Yeah, that oh, was sorry, it. Was Simon Trevor? And Trevor and Alucard. Sorry, Trevor. My bad. I thought. Wait, I thought Alucard and Richter were the ones who fought together, not Trevor. Yeah, yes. that was the night. No, Tre Trevor and Alucard. Alucard. Right, Alucard Trevor... is a goddamn damn fear. He can yeah. he can survive longer than Trevor ever. Yeah, well, I just I've never seen a game that had Trevor and Alucard together. Like that's that. a, that's Castlevania three. Yeah, the mm, game okay. the show is based off of Castlevania three. But yeah, no Trevor. Gotcha. Trevor is I. Uh, I why I can't think today. Never mind. Oh yeah, we've Trevor it, is the we first have now Belmont. Out. Oh, guys, one actually, of the first, not the we've first. Actually, I'm talking know, about the first Belmont this, that Alucard... I know we hate to do this, guys, but we actually have to talk about the game now because we've actually finally reached a, a, the third of the four big plot points. We've killed our 12th Colossi. Oh, cool. And apparently, we're not the only ones who know about the ritual because we learned it from them, and now they're aware that we're kind of messing stuff up. Yeah. Ah, shit. Damn it, Wander. We told you not to go in that place. We are the knights who say Nick, 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 Nick. <laughs> It was, it was, it, well, well, yeah, they're the ones, it's believed that, yeah, they were the ones who knew that we were the ones that had done all this, and they're the ones, we're the, they now know that we're about to perform, it's like, it's like Full Metal Alchemist, we're about to perform some ritual that should never be performed, mm -hmm. and this high priest does not want any And of that, there we go. Because he knows, that, because granted, dude, that, that mask is the, uh, 
ominous mask that appears in the beginning and it makes us think that this guy is evil, but we realize he's what's... He's just... Yeah. Well, well goodness, it's yeah. like we're helping the, a these, dark these force are... that... Yeah. Yeah. The, these are good. These are the good guys. They want to... They want to stop the evil from... From reawakening. But... In the movie script idea, they were gonna strip all of that vague "is he good, is he bad," and they were gonna make that guy a dick. Like they were gonna uh, make him like uh, they were gonna make him like Frollo. Oh no! Oh god! Yeah, no, they were they were they were gonna make him flat out Frollo. Damn you know, I already have. You know, it's already bad enough. I already we, that Castlevania, the Netflix show, already had something equivalent to that in its first season. So it's like really want, had that exact same thing too. And I'm very grateful for what was what he got coming to him. By the way, mm -hmm. I I actually wish that what they do is make it that uh he that the priest is cursed or something in the future, um and make it that I'm not going to voice this now, and make it that uh he eventually is reincarnated into Shaft and uh is Ooh. and yeah is the one who helps like for the man who fucked up Dracula's life. He is also the one who brings Dracula back. His reincarnation, or like, or like, or like, mm -hmm. he's doomed to. Come to think of it, that, that'd be interesting. Come to think of it, I don't think that priest ever did. We never did get a name from him. Just he's a priest. He, yeah, no, he's just called the. He's just called the bishop. That's it. You're oh, the bishop, yeah. right. Also, uh, fun, yeah, that would be hilarious if that does end up being Shaft. Also, Let's fun go, fact: his voice actor, who here has seen Hercules? I have. Yeah, you mean he's Panic. Guy? Oh. Yeah, he's, pa he's panic. Yeah, the the bishop, yeah. the evil bishop, is panic. Yeah. <laughs> Thirsty. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Thirsty. Also, this next anyway, colossus coming up. Is he's a, my favorite. <laughs> he's a Durgan. He is a Durgan, <laughs> and he is he's actually one of my favorite to fight because he lo he just looks so cool. Okay, maybe I should put quotations. He's my favorite, but he also is one of my least favorite because he, he has such a cool idea for a boss fight, but. They make you repeat that. They, they they make you repeat that really awesome thing yeah. three times, and it's forced. So because what's gonna happen? Go ahead. Go ahead. That was, so you you have to attack his weak points, but this colossi has the ability to actually cover his weak points when you've done enough damage. So you're forced to go back on the ground and thus repeat the whole thing. Is it, would you say that this colossus here is pretty much the reason why this part took so long? So wait, he uh, covers no, it. no, no, that no, that first, no, that first colossi it just has a long fight because you have to get on its head every time. This guy's actually not too bad, but there is, there is some kind of have to do. But this dude is amazing. And here is, <laughs> and here is, Dorman's intestines. <laughs> I could, I could see no, that. No, more like his tapeworm. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Dear we got. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it looks like a tapeworm. fucking giant tapeworm. It does, and we gotta take out the undulating ulcers that lie below. I don't Ooh. want. I wonder. <laughs> just gonna say you. I wouldn't blame you if you leave that one alone. <laughs> you can just walk on by. Seriously, like starts, dude, I really don't want that thing back in my body. He start. He starts like trying to convince to talk us out. But anyway, so this fight yeah. is a little interesting. So that dragon yeah. actually does not have real wings. It's held aloft by balloon-like things. Oh. So like. Uh, so we gotta so we pop them. There. So we need to think, pop them. Think of it like, think of it that the wings don't help it fly. It helps it direct. It Wait, helps look. direction. Yeah. Right. So I need to. One. The I wonder guy. how the hell's gonna. How, it makes me wonder how the hell's gonna fly after like three of those are popped. Well, now that they're all popped, it's gonna. It can sort of glide, but it's not gonna slam into the sand a bit. And that is our opportunity to jump onto its wings before it can reinflate. It looks like we have to wing it. Okay, now hold on. Bye, aggro. I'm not touching that one, Wanderer. Oh, crap. Oops. Damn it. I was trying to jump off. I guess Wanderer isn't either. Aggro, aggro, I need your help. Aggro, come on. Aggro, come on. Just as if you promise you never make that make a pun like that again. <laughs> I was trying to jump up the... I was trying to jump up the wing tendrils. Did anybody and hear I my pun? And I actually jumped away. Yeah, I heard, we heard you. I heard yeah, jumping your pun and... Oh, crap. He's, di he's diving below. Oh. You know what? Screw it. Just jump on him. Go, go, go. Oh. How the... Oh! Woo! That it was works. close. Yikes. It was. All right. And oh, now... Guys, a thought just popped... Guys, a thought just popped up. Considering the fact that the... As of... Another thing as of recent, freaking... Uh, the guy that's making the Castlevania Netflix show is actually confirmed he's also making a show based on Devil May Cry. Oh, It's all going to be nice. part of this massive multiverse he's going to start doing. 
Imagine Netflix Shadow the Colossus. Oh, that would be. Yeah. I, I I would watch a miniseries about that and like. But, but here's the thing, there there can be no dialogue or or like actual plot happening in the present. I would like to learn more about the ancient civilization that existed before everything. Honestly, considering how fuck how much story porn is in the se second season of Castlevania, I think they would have no problem doing that. Yeah. Oh, let's see, but also, see, also yeah, the see, the guy, on. the guy that uh that James is talking about, Adi Shankar, yeah, he also oh is a cosplayer, and he cosplayed, uh, he cosplayed, uh, Dante recently. Interesting. Yep, yeah, it's on and his yeah. Twitter. Oh, Agro! <laughs> what? Get out! Agro! Oh, sorry, sorry, I ate your horse, so here, I'm just going to shit him out for you again. Here, let's go. I feel violated. <laughs> <laughs> Then again, how should how can he feel violated when literally these things are literally made of stone? These are the kinds of things. These are kind of awkward things we think about during these commentaries. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, when, uh, let's pop them balloons again. Because when because when you're when you're dealing with uh, with creatures that can't possibly exist, even like plausibly in the real world, you you kind of have to use your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because honestly, it, it would just lead to nothing but logic fail if we Basic. really stop and think about it. No, no, no. There's an easy explanation for all of it. It's Wait, magic. Oh, um, the end. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it's a good thing magic exists in this in this world. This world specifically. What? Really? Oh. Because because I was always asked the question: Do you believe in magic? Not unless you... Well, I do, if I pop the purple dragon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Logan, you there? I, I, think the si I think the dragon ate him. <laughs> and that's that's it. It's, it. It ate him, and now we're on our on our quest to free him. I think. He. How ironic that uh, that a, a that. giant that a giant tapeworm <laughs> eats someone when usually you eat the tapeworm. Oh, the irony. Well, since he's not here at the moment, Gui, do you have any other additional tips we need to know about this thing? Uh, I actually don't remember. I, uh, like All she knows is that it's a Durgan, so she's happy. <laughs> I mean, that's I think a good there, answer yeah, as I any. There's one more. There's one more. Uh, I don't know what you call that. Flap. That yeah, one to... more flap with one more week. Oh, he's alive! I, I thought, there you are. I thought that chair sounded familiar. All right, let's keep going. Oh, jeez. Easy. No, Where I'm... were you, Logan? How I'm did you Aaron. How did you escape the maw of this thing? It's called Aaron sometimes, and you have to help bring stuff into the house. But it's all done now, and with luck, we have one more weak point left. Good. Let's go smash it. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like. This boss can kind of be a little bit of... Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, he's trying to shake you off. Oh, he, oh he's going to go fully around. Oh. Those are some... Okay. Those are some fingers of steel, dude. Seriously, the grass or some tough hair. Either that or he's just, really like, just grabbing deep into I, that whatever skin I is on that thing. I think it's like... I think it's moss. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta do it again. It closes its flaps when it's going to the sand, but I see aggro down there. But, again, did I say that... Did I ever, did, did, have I mentioned again? Die! Die! Stars? About five or ten times by now, yes. It still is. Yeah, it still Even now. Is. Oh. Oh. It's okay, the I sand sleep. broke my fall. I sleep. <laughs> no, we wake up. Come on, let's go. Why <laughs> aggro. That was epic. I'm not aggro. I'm just a figment of your imagination. He just turns into a mirage. He's a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Come on, aggro. Why does my dick and ass feel so prickly? That balloon and... Oh. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, aggro. You really... Did you really think that was a good idea in hindsight? Just take out all the in balloons at once. It was. Oh! Whoa! Uh, oh, why? Damn it. Oh, my God. And he didn't, and he didn't even capitalize. Yeah, he couldn't have grabbed on and come on, one more. Come on. Shoot, okay, let's go. You just you just shot blindly in the wind, dude. 
It would have been so cool if I got it, though. Let's go. It's like something trick. That would have. Now, that in itself would have been a Devil May Cry moment. That would, yeah. Doom. Uh, dude, if, 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 I'm probably asking a dumb question. Has Devil May Cry had bosses this big before? Uh, uh yes. Not in the first I know, one. I know Bayonetta has. Oh, dude. No. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bayonetta fu makes you fight the goddess of the cosmos, so. And she launches, and she attacks you by throwing galaxies at you. Yeah. <laughs> Poor lives. It's imagine if, no she, you know, this is likely not going to happen, but imagine, imagine if she is, she becomes a boss in the world of light. Oh shoot! Oh, that's right. Yeah, Smash oh, Ultimate. Ah, uh, uh, goodness me! We has to get her switch back. Yeah. She's got two weeks to do it. What happened? Wait, you don't have your switch? No. Oh, we traded it. Yeah, I traded it with my sister to get uh, to because uh, she she and my mom visited here last week. I have the yeah because we we share consoles. Right. So what do you no, have so right now? So I have now? the PS4 now. Ah. <laughs> well, hey, with that PS4 you can at least play well this and Spyro. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. Just one more to go. But yeah, all in all, we're actually coming down to there's only gonna be three colossi left after this. But it's just been such a fun little journey. I still enjoy. This is still one of the best like like indie action games I've played. Uh, yeah. not really. Is it, indie. is it really? Yeah, I was about to say. Would we really call this indie? Was it originally indie? I think no, no, it's it not. No, it was, no. It, was team, it was Team Ico. Ico's indie. No, yo, yes, Ico were the ones who developed it, but Sony also did have a hand. Right. Well, it's 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 Sony exclusive for a reason. And just like Sony, and just like this dragon will fall, Sony has nothing to show at E3. Yeah. Yeah, that's also that. a thing. Sony is canceling its E3 2019 anything, which Just, is, for one of the biggest it, players in the console wars... Isn't it a few wars, months too early to do that? It's, well, it's just like, I just feel like... They really had the nothing thing, left like, to show. Well, that's the thing, that means to me, that, I'm worried about that, because that means like no games, period, are being made for the PS4, because like, you could show third-party publishers at least, even. i go for that, I want to learn more about Death Stranding, I want to learn more about... Um, other games, I'm, I'm positive. I Come know. Think other of games. This. Do you think Death Stranding will still be on the PS4 at this point? Yeah, I hope so. It should. But yeah, it's a Deo Kojima, so it's gotta be. But uh, yeah, with that said, we are already down to three Colossi left. Damn it! I didn't want you to bring back my fucking tape war. Hey, didn't they? Hey, he's hey, Kami is <laughs> back. I almost said Dende, but that's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> My name My is name Dende. Is Dende. <laughs> so, Little Dende, green! let's pray you don't don't look like your old man someday. <laughs> this has been unexpectedly the longest journey I've ever made to finish one commentary. Yeah. Much well, as have I am a new man, a broken man, but a new man. To be and fair, part of the pro part of the fault does lie on the dragon. Yeah. So welcome. It, I mean, it really some... dragged on. Uh -huh. <laughs> some things I didn't miss, but with that said, it's only gonna get harder from here. We have uh, the next colossi isn't too bad, but we have some of the heaviest hitting and largest colossi ever. Ugh, that's so, nice. I mean, they're the final game colossi, so. Oh yeah. At this point, it's you may as well have a colossi as large as the, large as a country. <laughs> oh goodness me. That would. So, that would be something. No, it'd it would actually be, it, it, be it would, fun. That would be the game it, in itself. Wait, no, it'd be fun if the 17th Colossi was the land you were on. God. That would have been cool. I'm going to say right now, that is honestly how I think Breath of the Wild could have done something great. It would have capitalized on how you could climb things and you'd have to actually maneuver. Like if the Great Plateau came alive. I like Breath of the Wild. I'm just saying, it would have been an amazing way to implement like one of the key features of that game. Anyway! Always, anyway, yeah. Join us in the penultimate part. We're getting close to the end, finally. Woo! Yes! Bye. Bye, guys. On that note, see you guys.